time to get Monday drunk. Monday, Monday. Cheers. Cheers. Today we got the epic Three Floyds Brewing Zombie Dust Pale Ale. If you know about pale ales, you know about zombie dust. This stuff is like liquid gold in the Indiana, Chicago area. Mm. And expanded. Mm. I have a friend in Florida who, who's mad I haven't mailed it to him yet. Blake Nation, Molly's husband. Yeah, um, it's just so good. And you know what? We bought a six pack of it and I'm really, really excited. Weird name, by the way. I never really put any thought into it, but the dust of a zombie? Yeah. The zombies dustify? It must be real hoppy. I never, I haven't really balled up any zombie dust and shoved it into my gullet, but. And then Corey, where do we go and what are we eating? We went to Whole Foods and we snagged ourselves some sweet earth and Latin foods. This is farm stand breakfast sandwich, benevolent bacon, egg and cheddar. Now benevolent, benevolent, benevolent bacon is meatless. Yeah. It's called bacon. Yeah. It, Kind of looks like, well, I don't, wouldn't go as far as say it looks like bacon. It kind of looks like a tire tread. Like, you know when tire tread comes off the tire? It does, dude. I was going to say burnt cheese, but you know oh, what? I don't like even want to insult cheese like that. Um, but yeah, it's fake. It's bacon. I don't know. We went into the frozen food section to get breakfast up at Whole Foods, and we were like, I literally don't think they sell cow meat here. Yeah, there's like, zero. Couldn't zero find any. So, um, but it, we were very shocked. This looks honestly pretty damn amazing. Yeah, like, if I got damn. three of these at a bar for an appetizer of sliders, I'd be like, oh, that looks good. Yeah. So, here we go. Benevolent Bacon Farm Stand Whole Foods. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Cold in the middle. You should probably put it in a microwave. Yeah, put it down there. <laughs> Air fryers are tricky. I only did 30 seconds. Do you think it takes more? Let's see. I'll let you touch the middle of one of them. I took the lid off of mine. That's what I call top buns. Oh, okay. So I can tell the difference. So I'll be touching mine. Eh, probably another 30. Actually, I think that should be instituted. Sandwich, that's what people should be calling the top bun of a sandwich. Lids. Lids, yeah. Yeah. Ho! <laughs> no. Hey, your microwave works. <laughs> Holy smokes, that is warm. <laughs> Fooled you. Check it out. See this? Yeah. That's your cheese. Guess oh. whose cheese it is now? Oh, it, no, it is. It's cheddar cheese, pasteurized. It also comes in uh, something that, like, if you were getting, like, a 7-Eleven burrito, it comes in that same packaging, mm -hmm. so they don't want to get too fancy. You know what it meant when I was growing up in the uh, Catholic school system if you got pasteurized? <laughs> When a pastor did some, well, I'll let you film that. Use context clues if you want to enjoy that joke. Look down in pity upon this, your servant. Shut up your ass, you worthless piece of shit. All right, we're microwaved up. Let's go back into this thing. All right. I actually think it's pretty good. Me too. It helps that with breakfast sandwiches, egg, cheese, and bread. Yeah. I feel like are usually like kind of the main players in the game, unless you get like a sausage one. Right. But the, the, the bacon or the bacon on this is like kind of a side player. So since you're not really looking for that big bacon taste, it kind of still works. It's really just cheese on bread. Right. Mm-hmm. I agree, with, good. I agree with all that. There's a lot of flavor, so you're not just focused on one thing. Mm -hmm. If it all works together and the texture's okay, that's where imitation meat, I think, like can thrive. Yeah, totally. I wonder if they're gonna do imitation steaks. Oh man, that'd be so tough. Yeah, and like where the, you could literally like, it's bleeding a little bit, mm -hmm. it's, you can like dip it in some A1 and like do the whole thing up. I wonder if they're trying to work on that because that seems like one that would be really tough to emulate, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna use some, like a BYO sauce to Yeah, you brought your own? Yeah, it's Sean sauce. <laughs> I bet this is gonna be really good. You know what, this bread, I always find it so fascinating when these companies can figure out a way to do frozen bread and then you heat it up and it still tastes like not just chewy. Mm -hmm. They've done kind of a decent job with this one. Yeah, not bad for being a frozen food item. Yeah. Makes it a little bit better. Yeah. So we've done Impossible Whopper. We've done the Beyond Sausage Dunkin' Donut Sandwich. We've done, oh yeah, Burger King did the Impossible uh, Breakfast Sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, so we've done this our like, fourth thing. I'm gonna try this bacon solo to see what it's like. Yeah. It's almost tasteless. Interesting. It's mainly, I feel like it's mainly on there because they knew they could get a dope picture for the, for the branding. Consistency's oh, yeah. not there because it's not crunchy or anything like that, like I expected bacon to be. You're right. And there's not much taste. I think it's just there for the photo. It's And I think it's there for the salt. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of salty. Wow, man. I'm surprised. 
We were bad mouthing that off camera. All right, before we go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down this Whole Foods breakfast sandwich, let's do a shout out. Merch shout out, merch shout out, merch shout out. Number six with cheese.com is our website. On said website, we got a bunch of merchandise. Not too long ago, we also launched a bunch of stuff. Stickers, shirts, hats, bottle openers. So much fun stuff on there. Also, you guys have been nabbing up the Sixer Sauce, the subscription service. Uh, so we're gonna say two names of people that bought off the website. Merch shout out number one goes Mr. Jason Fan. Long time supporter, huge fan of the show. I see yeah, him absolutely. all the time. Awesome dude. It does not surprise me one bit that this awesome, awesome supporter of the show signed up for the hot sauce subscription service. Saving some money and getting that hot sauce on repeat every month. Boom, bam, boom, a little bit of that sixer sauce is showing up at that cast door. I bet he loves it. Thank you, Jason. In merch shout out number two, Nebraska Zone, Mr. Ben Braun. Great name. Ben bought the subscription service. He's getting it. Nebraska just became even cooler for having this just lace your state every single month. So Ben, thank you. Number 6 cheesecom buy the subscription service. You jump the line, we say your name fast as hell, dude. So fast, dude. All right, we're gonna rate this. Keep in mind at the end of this, I haven't said it, so I don't know why you'd know to keep it in mind. We're gonna open some packages. We finally went and picked up a bunch of stuff. So before that, Eric McCluskey, drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. Thumbs up or thumbs down on whether or not you liked, you enjoyed, you might overall get again the benevolent bacon, egg, and cheddar from Whole Foods. Ho! Oh! oh! I would caveat that. Yeah, there's an asterisk there for some, somehow. That it would be like, you would have to be like really caring about whether or not you're killing pigs. Yeah, that has to be like your MO. Like, yeah. I don't think it was like the best Nope, but, sandwich around. Oh, you don't. But even if want I was to in a Whole Foods and I was like, I need to grab something from this like freezer section because I'm like out of town and I just want something that's like pretty quick and not terrible. Like I might get that honestly. Yeah. If I was in a Whole Foods. I don't make a lot of like go out of my way to go to Whole Foods. We just want to switch it up today. So like take that for what it is too. Yeah. Damn that dog. That dog is so cute, dude. She likes this. Is she doing shit with her phone? She dropped it because she saw Sean. She got too excited. Then when I put her up here, she had a huge burp. I could feel it reverberate. Let us know if there's any good breakfast items at Whole Foods that we should try, as Corey has a Whole Foods pretty damn close to his apartment. So um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video back in the car. Sure, I'll have a drink. This dog gets so excited at peas every time it sees Sean. I have that effect on anything with a heartbeat. <laughs> Is that your boyfriend? Huh? I'm not dating a dog. You're showing your boyfriend. Ooh, we haven't known we got the goods in forever. We've got the goods. <laughs> haven't skipped a beat. No big deal. All right, here you go. What you got? Whoa. This is uh, this is for cutting pizza like it's a scissors. <laughs> These are pizza scissors. Whoa, that's awesome, bro! Imagine having that in your lineup of things like spatula, slotted spoon. I'm definitely <laughs> gonna be able to trim my fingers <laughs> with this because we got the safety. Yeah, it, make sure you don't cut your penis. Yeah, I've already had my uh, my bris. This is kind of cool. That's really cool. You can also, this is how you lined up your neck during quarantine. Yeah, huh? it was a bad time. I still got that picture as mine. Yeah, doesn't that look like that? To it? Here, let's see this. I, uh, during quarantine, I, I trimmed up the back of my hair, and when it started regrowing back, uh, it didn't look very good. It's embarrassing. Oh, Batman. Batman, that's my dude. Batman's been a long time fan of the show, Bruce Wayne himself. Batman, thank you. Loyal patron, buy stuff. Those are, that's really actually pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, this box comes from Doug Cle Clemen from Hawaii. Oh, another, uh, another fan. Chopped macadamia nuts. Wow. Ooh, thank you, Doug. All the way from Hawaii. Subway's macadamia cookies are like some of my favorites, dude. Sean, I suggested mixed nuts for your party popcorn. I did a vlog about how to make party popcorn. Try these chopped macadamia nuts from Bad Billy. Oh, Bad Billy. Bad the, Billy got us the, the tray. The trays yeah. in the car. Dude, uh, also using the Salvation Army stationery. Yeah. Thank you, Bad Billy. Look at that. All right, one last package. Here you go. This is from, I think, uh, Fussell's girlfriend. Yeah, Grant Lauren, right? Yeah, uh, she just put Van Amberg from Livonia, Michigan. Yeah, recognize that last name. Mm -hmm. Grant just donated 10 bucks on Patreon. Ah, yeah, I saw that. Gosh darn it, gentlemen. Boy, this is okay. 
Corey and Sean, enjoy chocolate birthday cake cookies that I made. If y'all like these, I can send you different cookies every month. Thanks for being amazing. Lauren, thank you for sending us chocolate chip cookies. This is our address if you wanna send us stuff. Also during quarantine, like, we're going to the UPS store way less, so don't feel like, what, if we beat this virus, then send us stuff. But you have the address regardless if you wanna send us like bags of money. Hey, you better relax, my dude. I love you, my dude. Hey, uh, uh. See you guys tomorrow. Mm-hmm.